In computing, BusyBox is software that provides several stripped-down Unix tools in a single executable file. It runs in a variety of POSIX environments such as Linux, Android, FreeBSD and others, such as proprietary kernels, although many of the tools it provides are designed to work with interfaces provided by the Linux kernel. It was specifically created for embedded operating systems with very limited resources. The authors dubbed it the Swiss Army Knife of Embedded Linux, as the single executable replaces basic functions of more than 300 common commands. It is released as free software under the terms of the GNU General Public License. In late 2007, BusyBox also came to prominence for actively prosecuting violations of the terms of its license in courts of the United States. History, originally written by Bruce Perrins in 1995 and declared complete for his intended usage in 1996, BusyBox originally aimed to put a complete bootable system on a single floppy disk that would serve both as a rescue disk and as an installer for the Debian distribution. Since that time, it has been extended to become the de facto standard core user space toolset for embedded Linux devices and Linux distribution installers. Since each Linux executable requires several kilobytes of overhead, having the BusyBox program combine over 200 programs together often saves substantial disk space and system memory. BusyBox was maintained by Enrique Zainardi and focused on the needs of the Debian boot floppies installer system until early 1998, when Dave Sinage took it over for the Linux router project. Sinage made several additions, created a modularized build environment, and shifted BusyBox's focus into general high-level embedded systems. As LRP development slowed down in 1999, Eric Anderson, then of Lineo, Inc., took over the project and became the official maintainer between December 1999 and March 2006. During this time the Linux embedded marketplace exploded in growth, and BusyBox matured greatly, expanding both its user base and functionality. Rob Landley became the maintainer in 2005 and continued for several years. As of October 2006 Dennis Vlazenko maintains BusyBox. Features BusyBox can be customized to provide a subset of over 200 utilities. It can provide most of the utilities specified in the single Unix specification plus many others that a user would expect to see on a Linux system. BusyBox uses the Armquist shell, also known as a shell, Ashansh. As it is a complete bootstrap system, it will further replace the init daemon and up using itself to be called as init on startup and MDEV at hot plug time respectively. The BusyBox website provides a full list of the utilities implemented. Single binary, typical computer programs have a separate binary file for each application. BusyBox is a single binary, which is a conglomerate of many applications, each of which can be accessed by calling the single BusyBox binary with various names in a specific manner with appropriate arguments. BusyBox benefits from the single binary approach as it reduces the overhead introduced by the executable file format, and it allows code to be shared between multiple applications without requiring a library. This technique is similar to what is provided by the Kroonkgen command in FreeBSD, the difference being that BusyBox provides simplified versions of the utilities, while a Kroonkgen generated some of all the utilities would offer the fully functional versions. Sharing of the common code along with routines written with size optimization in mind, can make a BusyBox system much smaller than a system built with the corresponding full versions of the utilities replaced by BusyBox. Research that compared GNU, BusyBox, Asmodeals and Perl implementations of the standard Unix commands showed that in some situations BusyBox may perform faster than other implementations, but not always. Examples Programs included in BusyBox can be run simply by adding their name as an argument to the BusyBox executable, BusyBox LS. More commonly, the desired command names are linked to the BusyBox executable. BusyBox reads the first element of ARGV to find the name it is called as, and runs the appropriate command, for example just, LS, after LS is linked to BusyBox. BusyBox would see that its name is LS, and act like the LS program. Commands, 
the official BusyBox documentation lists an overview of the available commands and their command line options. Some of them are Appliances, BusyBox is used by several operating systems running on embedded systems. GPL lawsuits, what was claimed to be the first U.S. lawsuit over a GPL violation concerned use of BusyBox in an embedded device. The lawsuit, Case 07 CV 8205 in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York was filed on September 20, 2007 by the Software Freedom Law Center on behalf of Anderson and Landley against Monsoon Multimedia Incorporated, after BusyBox code was discovered in a firmware upgrade and attempts to contact the company had apparently failed. The case was settled with release of the monsoon version of the source and payment of an undisclosed amount of money to Anderson and Landley. On November 21, 2007, the SFLC brought two similar lawsuits on behalf of Anderson and Landley against two more companies, Xtrises and High Gain Antennas. The Xtrises case was settled on December 17 for release of source code used and an undisclosed payment and the High Gain Antennas case on March 6, 2008 for active license compliance and an undisclosed payment. On December 7, 2007, a case was brought against Verizon Communications over its distribution of firmware for actioned routers. This case was settled March 17, 2008 on condition of license compliance, appointment of an officer to oversee future compliance with free software licenses, and payment of an undisclosed sum. Further suits were brought on June 9, 2008 against Bell Microproducts and Super Microcomputer, the Super Micro case being settled on July 23, 2008. BusyBox and Bell Microproducts also settled out of court on October 17. On December 14, 2009, a new lawsuit was filed naming 14 defendants including Best Buy, JVC, Samsung and others. On about August 3, 2010. BusyBox won triple damages of $90,000 in lawyers' costs and fees of $47,865, and possession of presumably a lot of high-def TVs as infringing equipment in the lawsuit Software Freedom Conservancy v. Best Buy, AL, the GPL infringement case noted in the paragraph above. No other developers, including original author Bruce Perrins and longtime maintainer Dave Zinich were represented in these actions or party to the settlements. On December 15, 2009, Perrins released a statement expressing his unhappiness with some aspects of the legal situation, and in particular alleged that the current BusyBox developers appear to have removed some of the copyright statements of other BusyBox developers, and appear to have altered license statements. Controversy over ToyBox Toybox was started early 2006 under the GMU General Public License. At the end of 2006 it was re-licensed under the BSD license, then the project went dormant. On January 11, 2012, Tim Bird, a Sony employee suggested creating an alternative to BusyBox which would not be under the GMU General Public License. He suggested it be based on the dormant Toybox. This suggestion drew harsh criticism from Matthew Garrett and others. See also Toybox a Euro a clone of BusyBox published under the BSD license, GNU Core Utilities, Util Linux, Eprut 2, Ftool, Linux for Embedded Systems, Linux for Mobile Devices, References. Further reading, Perrins, Bruce. Building Tiny Linux Systems with BusyBox a Euro Part 1. Linux Journal. Belltown Media A. Jones, M. Tim. BusyBox Simplifies Embedded Linux Systems. Developer Works. IBM A. External Links, Official Website, Products Known to be Using BusyBox.